Hello, good morning. It's Monday the 23rd. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. Um, so the CBI and the Federation for Small Businesses have been on. Uh, they've been lobbying to cut the red tape in post-Brexit trade. Uh, despite largely being hidden by other issues like supply chain shortages um, or the issues with migrant labour to the hospitality sector, they fear that issues over red tape are affecting exports to Europe. Despite this, services data is expected to post another strong reading and suggestion is we could even break the 70 level after carding 69.6 last month. And that would be positive for Q3 GDP because the service sector accounts for around 80% of UK output. Um, hope is that the market may have followed me back from holidays, but chances are the summer lull may extend for another week or so until after the August Bank holiday. After that, we can expect pressure to rebuild for some forward guidance before uh, the MPC meets on the 23rd of September. But it's worth remembering that furlough won't have ended by that meeting, so any effect on employment won't have been fully realised by then. In the market, we saw sterling struggle a, a little bit last week. We traded down to around the 136 level against the dollar um, as the dollar posted some uh, gains. That said, though, we've seen long dollar positions trimmed a little in the Asian session this morning, and we op open today around 136.60. Over in the US, Powell has decided not to attend Jackson Hole. Uh, that shouldn't be too much of a big deal, especially when Andrew Bailey and Christine Lagarde also plan to miss the event. Uh, attention should probably focus more on Powell's concern for the Delta variant and the unknown economic effect on the recovery. Any hints of delays in tapering would likely see the dollar slow its recent advance or even reverse the recent trend. Um, as a side note, Powell's contract is up for renewal as Fed chairman. Um, he has already received a ringing endorsement from, from um, Treasury Secretary Yellen, so chances are it's just a formality that will be confirmed by early next month. Um, so for now, though, we open the new week with the dollar index at around 93.45 and euro dollar around 1.715. It's good to be back. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.